Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com here. Now in this video we're going to be talking about recoding variables. Recoding variables is one of those facts of life that when we're dealing with qualitative data we may occasionally need to recode it. When will we need to recode? Well, we might wish to recode if the response is, is very small or zero for some of our categories. In that case we might want to um, redefine categories, so make fewer categories so that, for example, our plots and charts look a bit simpler. So we might wish to recode to simplify the analysis is one thing. Another reason why we might wish to recode is because some statistical procedures have constraints on the number of observations in each group. For example, we know that cross tabs doesn't work too well if there are too small percentage of observations for one or more categories. So in that case, one way to get around that, or possibly get around that, I should say, because it might not work, one way to possibly get around that is to make smaller the number of categories. So have a, let's talk through an example. I have here one variable, satisfaction. It's satis, satisfaction. And, it's, and this is a qualitative variable um, on a scale of 1 to 5. Now, to see what the numbers stand for, let's go down here to variable view. I will click on the values here. So how I've coded it at the moment is 1 for very satisfied, 2 for satisfied, 3 for neither satisfied nor unsatisfied, uh, 4 for not satisfied, spelling error there, if we'll get that. 5, not at all satisfied. Now let's look at the frequencies. So we'll go to analyze, descriptive stats, frequencies. Satis is the variable, we say OK. Here's the output. Now, so we've got 11 observations, let's say 11 people we've interviewed. Very satisfied, we've got one observation, 9.1 percent. Satisfied, we've got three observations, that's 27. Nine of us satisfied, not unsatisfied, just the 9.1 percent. Not satisfied, about 45.5 percent. Not at all satisfied, 9.1 percent. Now, we might say wish to reduce it from one, two, three, four, five categories down to two categories, just to simplify the analysis. Um, or to get around the fact that maybe we have too few observations and we might run into trouble if we run some statistical procedures. So let's say we wish to reduce it down from 5 to 2. Let's go from, let's just have satisfied or not satisfied. So let's have anything from very satisfied down to neither satisfied nor unsatisfied. Let's call that, let's just call that satisfied. And not satisfied and not at all satisfied, let's call that not satisfied in our new group. Now we need to recode then to define the new variable. Before we do that, we need to keep track of our coding system and a good idea here is to jot down on a piece of paper what we've got. So the old codes go from 1 to 5 and then we write down another column, the new codes, which we know we just want 1 and 2. 1, say for satisfied, 2, let's let that stand for unsatisfied and then arrows here show you what I have to do for the recoding. So the old codes, what, what old code 1 goes to new code 1, old code 2 goes to new code 1, Th old code 3 goes to 1, 4 goes to 2, 5 goes to 2. Recall that 1, 2, 3 here, they are, well 1 and 2 is satisfied, 3 is neither satisfied or unsatisfied so we're just grouping it with the satisfied lot. 4 and 5, they're not satisfied, degrees of unsatisfaction, and that goes to um, code 2. All right? So we bear the, we've got that paper in front of us while we're doing the coding, and then we can't get muddled up that way. Okay, now there's various ways of doing it. We can use the point and click, or we can use the uh, syntax or co the command method. I'm going to use point and click, but I'll also point out how you could use the syntax method we go transform. Now there are three options here recoding the same variables or into different variables automatic recode. 
all these are to do with recoding. Automatic recode does not apply here because it applies only when these things are not numbers. Okay, so we can do into same variables or different variables. Into same variable means that we, our new variable will also be called status, whereas into different variables will be called will be forced to call it something else. Now, it makes common sense here to use recode into different variables, although it creates another new column, which in our case doesn't matter because we we're not going to be overloaded with columns. If you recode into same variables and you make an error, you can't really see what the original you know where you made a mistake so for that reason I prefer always to recode in different variables so if we click on that what we see here is status we transfer that into this box here which tells us what the input variable is and what the new output variable is now watch when I transfer this into here watch what happens to the new output the output variable which is the new variable okay so I've got a status now and a question mark. That question mark is what I have to complete. So I have to give it a name. Now this name is the shorthand name. It's the name like satis. Where, and the label is the full description. Um, so in, our out, in the output, SPSS output, anything under the label will be displayed. So for graphs and such like. Whereas name is just for you to uh, keep, um, keep track of what the variable is. So let's call it uh, n satis. Just can, like say new satisfaction uh, label we want that to be meaningful so satisfaction okay and then we press change and when I press change what happens to that question mark see a question mark it changed right so that means it's registered next we go to old and new values this is where we now redefine the new numbers press that now there's more than one way here so there's two columns, old variable and new variable and when we're done we add it to this box okay now why is there more than one way is because there's more than one way of describing the uh, the old numbers going to the new numbers so let's kind of do it more than one way just to give you an idea what's going on so first of all let's do it number by number so we want one to one, two to one, three to one first so we'll go value here, one go to new value we also want that to be one add okay why I've done that is because I'm going along this branch what old code number one it's going to new code number one next uh, next okay At old value two remember from the arrow we want that to go to one remember to press add otherwise it doesn't register okay so we've got one to one two to one and remember in the branch we also have three going to one Okay, you get the idea? So 1, 2, 3 go to 1. It's in that picture 1, 2, 3 go to 1. So we've done satisfied. Now, same with unsatisfied. But 4 goes to 2 now, not 1. And 5 goes to which number? 2. That's right. There. And once we're done, which we are done now, because I counted for all the 5 old numbers, going to the 2 new numbers, 1 and 2, we press continue okay and when we're done we press OK now for those of you interested in syntax where you can press paste but we'll do that for the next one let's press OK and watch what happens now to the new column it's appeared hasn't it so 2 has gone to 1, 2 gone to 1, 4 has gone to 2, 3 gone to 1 and so on so it makes complete sense okay right let's do it the same thing but use just use a, a different method recode into different variables and satis, let's call it n2 sat n2 satis to show you that it's a different procedure. Let's still call it satisfaction for the label. Press change so that this SPS is registered. See n satis gone to n2 satis now. All the new values. Well, let's clear all this lot. Okay, now instead of using the value, doing it one by one, we can speed it up by using some other, using the range values here. So if I press, press range here, the lowest number 1 through to 3 is coded 1. So I just go range 1 through to 3, new value 1, and watch out what happens when I press add. 1 through th 3 is coded 1. Now this is actually part of this syntax we'll see later, that this is actually through, the way they've spelt it, it's part, uh, it's, they've defined it in, in the commands, so SPSS under, understands what that means. 
Likewise, uh, 4 going to 5, the range 4 going to 5, that is 2. Press Add. Okay, and say Continue. There. Now, we press OK, and that will bring us another column. But for those of you interested in the commands, what you can do is you can, if you don't want to memorize all these codes, you just want to piece things together or edit them later on, just press Paste. That brings up the command window, and now you can see the ones in blue is actually the code, is the the command recode. So our variable satis, and it goes from one to three is equal to one, the new code, and through four through to five goes into two, and that that new output goes into the new variable n to satis. Okay, and the variable labels doing two, dealing with two variables n to satis, and it's called satisfaction. Sorry, uh, variable labels is the name of the variable of the new variable which is called n 2 satis and the uh, the label is satisfaction execute means to run the whole thing so if you wanted to run it you would highlight this thing and press that green arrow and it will run okay but because I'm doing more point and click because I think most of us would be using point and click at the intro level um, we'll just continue point and click so forget I did that if you're not interested so I've reached this stage here and remember I just said press OK get rid of that window. Now look at here, new column. Notice it's the same as the the uh, column for end satis because the and as well they should be because the instructions are the same, we've just done it differently. Okay. I'm showing you these methods because it's entirely up to you which approach you take. Let's uh, do one more. Recode into different variables to different variables n satis Let's call N3 satis now. So I'm going to satis, which is the absolutely original one, to N3 satis. I press change, it goes to N3 satis, old and new. Let's clear these commands there. Right, instead of going range lowest through to highest, we can use these two, well, these three here. Range lowest through to the value. So here I don't even have, I just have to enter. To the upper value three, I don't have to. I can forget about one because it says lowest. It will register what the lowest is, which is one, through the value to three. Well, let's call that one. I press add. Look at the new code, lowest through. And then now I can do the same, but for range value through to the highest, which would be five, and I could press and put two here, and I could press add. Or I could just simply go all other values because you know it's all other values meaning four and five because they're the only ones left through the value two. Let's do all other values. Else two. Again, that is a command. Continue. Okay, and now we'll be done. Let's just press the paste so you can see the command here. Look at what has changed. Lowest through and else. Da da da. Everything else is the same. Okay. All right, well, for those of you who like or need to know commands, let's just highlight that and press the arrow, green arrow, to play. It's not going to play any music, unfortunately, but it will give us a result. Okay, so I've run the code, and there you go, N3, same as the previous two columns, and we are done. So that's it, really. Um, anything? Have I missed anything? So recap, you know, when do you need to recode? You might wish to recode to simplify the analysis if your one of your categories doesn't have or has very very few observations percentage-wise, or it might be some statistical procedure has constraints on the number of observations, minimum number of observations, percentage-wise for each uh, category. For example, you know it in cross tabs, the uh, minimum percentage is the expected cell counts should be f exceed five, preferably. Right, um, well, that's it then. So, good luck and um, have a go.